good morning all in uh, today's class we are going to uh, discuss about uh, problems on uh, riveted uh, joint design so already in last class we have discussed a problem in continuation to that we are going to discuss a problem today a uh, kind of very similar problem okay so uh, i read out the problem the problem is uh, given as a triple riveted butt joint a triple riveted means there are three rows of rivets okay there are three rows of rivets okay triple riveted butt joint with unequal cover plate okay it's butt joint so for butt joint definitely we should have cover plates okay on both sides of the butting plates so here this is butting plate one this is butting plate two say okay this is the the junction okay so you kept like this and you want to have a cover plate on either side of the butting plates okay so we have cover plate one and cover plate two in some cases both the cover plates will be of equal thickness and equal width uh, uh, and in some other cases there will be difference in the width of the plate we are using okay so that is what given here so in the problem they have given that we are going to make a butt joint with the cover plate of unequal width okay so there are difference in the width okay so it's given in the figure say and is used to connect to 16 mm plates of a boiler okay it's a boiler application they have given okay so the thickness of the plate is 16 m okay these two plates are of same thickness now we have to design the joint riveted joint completely for the allowable stresses given like uh, in tension it is 50 in uh, shear it is 40 and crushing it is 80 and also we have to decide the efficiency of the uh, rivet okay so now uh, this is the diagram that is made okay so now you see the top plate is of small width a smaller width and the inside plate is of are like uh, the bottom the uh, the power plate located at the bottom is uh, of uh, larger width okay so here uh, before we get into this problem i would like to tell you how the boiler this particular boilers will be fabricated uh, using the riveted joints okay so usually there will be two uh, semi cylindrical portions okay okay this is one uh, semi cylindrical portion uh, okay and there will be one more uh, semi cylindrical portion it will be, will be located on the top okay now so here these uh, bottom and top hemispherical uh, portions sorry semi cylindrical portions are located one another like one on the other one is located it is butting these two places are butting now what we have to do we have to connect these two this is just butting just to butter we have to join it okay uh, so if you want to join it then we have to use using the river then we have to use the cover plates okay so we have to use two cover plates one inside one outside okay so usually the inside cover plate will be larger in width for the sake of safety purpose the inner cover plate that we are using usually will be larger in width okay and the outer will be smaller in width okay that's what uh, given here so this portion this only this particular portion of the uh, joint is represented here okay so killer uh, inner okay this is inner inner part of the pressure vessel this is outer part of the pressure vessel okay and now if uh, now we have to design the rivets for this particular joint so there are three rows given moon row triple riveted but joint is given so two rows may be uh, preferred in the smaller width uh, that is uh, like you can uh, connect this uh, uh, larger and smaller width cover plate using 
two rows okay one row may be only connect the butting plate and the inner cover plate so if they have given three rows you split the uh, rows like this two and one okay this is how generally the riveting will be done so that you can see in the top view of this uh, image where uh, these two are butting plates this is butting plate one this is butting plate two okay this is the butting edge okay and this is cover plate one or like you can say outer cover plate and this is nothing but the inner cover plate okay so now you see uh, the place where the three plates outer and inner cover plates and the butting plate are right or are in overlapping so there we have two rows of riveting okay in the outside we have one row of riveting okay so this is how it has to be planned okay so if they have given three riveted butt joint you split the rows of rivet in this way fine so the rest of the procedure are very similar to the previous problem okay here only thing is we have used uh, we, we are going to design the same thing for a uh, application of a boiler uh, in next class also we will discuss a problem uh, on boiler in detail okay so as of now for this problem so this is the case so if they have given unequal cover plate so how to proceed with that that's what i'm stressing out here so the procedure is first we have to find out the thickness of the cover plate uh, because in case of butt joint we will be using cover plate so the first and foremost thing is we have to calculate the thickness of the cover plate because thickness of the butting plates are given so these these the thickness of this plate that is your boiler plate is given as 16 mm okay so both uh, both semi cylindrical portions are of 16 mm plate okay so now we have to calculate the thickness of the inner and outer cover plates okay so the formula is available in the psd data book 7.127 for unequal widths of cover plate so wider one wider one is nothing but the inner one okay narrower one uh, uh, which is of uh, smaller in width that is outer one okay that to, to find out the thickness t1 and t2 you can use these formulas okay or like even even simply you can represent the thickness of the cover plate as uh, t1 inner and t, t1 outer okay that's up to you or you can use t1 and t2 like that so 0.75 times of t for inside cover plate uh, uh, thickness and uh, 0.625 for outside cover plate thickness fine so now uh, after calculating this uh, thickness of the cover plate using the empirical relations you have to come to the calculations of the diameter of the rivet okay then when uh, first thing you have to check is what is the thickness of the plate butting plate if the thickness of the butting plate is greater than 8 then you can directly use the empirical relation or you have to use the condition okay that we have discussed earlier so now uh, it is defined in terms of thickness of the butting plate so that is 16 mm so from that you can calculate the diameter of the uh, rivet okay and then margin of the rivet can be calculated from this formula if you want to be more specific then you can also refer a table given in the page number 7.126 okay there are different uh, uh, type of rivets like uh, double rivet triple rivet and double strap plate uh, single strap plate for everything there is a formula for calculating the margin value uh, if you want to be more specific you can refer that uh, uh, table and you can take it okay otherwise you keep go with this uh, this uh, empirical relation and then you have to calculate the pitch of the rivet pitch of the rivet can be calculated using this condition that we have already discussed in the last class problem okay if you have two rivets say uh, there is a gap between the center point of two rivets okay so in this place there may there is the, the plate may be failed in the tensile mode or in this particular um, rivet may be failed in the uh, shear mode so rendo dia safe force should be almost equal otherwise the earlier failure of one mode will happen so to avoid that we are trying to keep these two forces equal so upon the rend force no equal na pitch value okay so that's what we are calculating by comparing fs and ft so fs formula is i into n into pi by 40 square in, uh, into tau 
so this is for direct shear you know that okay i stands for number of rows in the rivet okay and n stands for number of row uh, number of rivets in the uh, um, row of a pitch okay and uh, here uh, you can calculate the value directly because tau value is given d value is also given using that you can calculate the value of fs and ft can be calculated by using p minus d into t into sigma t p is nothing but the pitch that's what we want to know because we do not know the value not given in the problem so d value diameter of the rivet we have calculated in the previous step okay t is nothing but the thickness of the budding blade 16 mm given in the problem and the safe tensile stress of the uh, plate material is 50 mm sorry 50 megapascal that is given in the problem okay by substituting all the values and uh, sub, uh, equating these two uh, values of fs and f uh, t equation 1 and 2 if we equate we can calculate the value of the pitch even though you calculate the value of the pitch you have to further calculate the maximum uh, uh, pitch value by using this empirical relation uh, the c value can be taken from the table given in the psg data book okay so here number of rivets per pitch uh, per pitch is here it is uh, zigzag okay and a double river double cover plate so three for a roller and river trick let's go you can over pitch length okay and add the roller or river tell you one random one on the room so upon the over pitch length there are three rivets okay so number of rivets per pitch on three so other than air of autumn double cover plate is funny go so 4.63 so if you substitute and calculate, you will get a value. Compare two uh, values of the pitch and take the minimum value of the pitch. And distance between two rows are like you can say uh, back pitch Cal can be calculated from this uh, empirical relation. You can take this relation from the uh, PSG data book and you know pitch value, you know the diameter of the rivet value. By using that, you can calculate the uh, back pitch uh, value. And also, if you want to calculate the diagonal pitch and uh, other uh, pitch values, you can use the corresponding empirical relation and you can find it out. Okay. And the efficiency of the joint uh, that we have already dis discussed in the numerator, you will be having least value of any of the forces that is FS, EFT, and EFC. And <coughs> without uh, having the rivet holes, what will be the uh, uh, force the, the maximum force of the uh, uh, maximum safe force that can be restored by the plate. Okay, if you have a plate written now, there are private holes in the abdina or pitch length. Okay, or pitch length, here is a width. In a strength plate without holes in a strength with rivet, what will be the maximum force? With Without rivet, what is the maximum force? And with rivet, what is the maximum? Uh, what is the least force? Okay, yeah, least force consider control of dinner, then only we will have the uh, efficiency, the minimum value of efficiency. So we have to go with the uh, minimum value of efficiency, then only we will plan the applied load correspondingly. We will not have efficiency, the rivet might get failed. Okay, so FS can uh, already calculate it. And the FT calculate under the formula. This also we have seen in the previous step. And you know the P value. Substituting the P value, you can also calculate the T value. And the FC, this is projected area D into T and I number of rivet rows and sigma C crushing stress. Using that, you can calculate it and compare these three values and take the minimum value of uh, these three. And then for this pitch value, you know thickness value, you know tensile strength of the plate, you know. With that, you can calculate the efficiency of the uh, riveted joints. Okay. So, this is another uh, uh, exercise problem for your practice. Okay. So, very similar to the previous one. Uh, you just practice for this um, class. Okay. Thank you.